Hello there, how are you all? I, I have decided to share a story with you today. It would have been book bug day in the nursery. I would have been holding the book bug group this afternoon with Leslie and some of our families from the Silver Room. But obviously as we're not there, uh, I thought I'd share a story with you online instead. Okay, I hope you're all staying safe and keeping well. The story I've chosen today is called I Love You Little Monkey. It's called, it's by Alan Durant and Catherine McEwen. And it's about a little monkey who's getting a little bit bored. Big monkey is busy doing the chores and um, little monkey's getting into a little bit of mischief. Um, I thought that might strike a chord with some of our families right now. I know some of you will be trying to work from home and keep your children entertained at the same time and it's not an easy thing to do. Uh, so I thought I'd like to share this story with you today. So let's see what happens in little monkey's day. Little monkey was bored. Big Monkey was picking figs for supper, so Little Monkey had no one to play with. Why don't you do some climbing, said Big Monkey. You like climbing. Little Monkey climbed up to the top of the big tree and he climbed down again. He saw a pile of figs on the ground. He picked one up. It was ripe and squashy. He threw it at the trunk of the big tree. Splat! Little Monkey laughed. He threw another fig and another. When Big Monkey came back, there were no figs left, just a squishy mess. That was naughty, Little Monkey, he said. Those figs were for our supper. Now we'll have to go and pick some more. I'll help you, said Little Monkey. So Little Monkey helped Big Monkey pick figs for supper. Now will you play with me, said Little Monkey. Not yet, said Big Monkey. First I've got to make the beds. Why don't you do some swinging and jumping? You like swinging and jumping. Little Monkey swung and jumped on the big tree. Then he saw the bed that Big Monkey had made for him. It looked lovely and soft and springy. It looked just right for jumping on. Whee! Little Monkey jumped. Woof! He landed right in the middle of the bed and crushed it. Big Monkey shook his head and frowned. Oh, that was naughty, little monkey, he said. Now I'll have to make your bed all over again. I'll help you, said little monkey. Little monkey helped big monkey make his bed again. Now will you play with me, little monkey asked. Big monkey yawned. First I need a little nap, he said. All that extra work has made me tired. Why don't you play up in the big tree for a while? And big monkey lay down on his bed. Little Monkey played on his own. He ran and sprang and jumped. He lay on his back and wiggled his legs in the air. Then he played a game of falling and catching in the big tree. He fell off one branch and caught hold of another. Down and down he dropped until he was just above where Big Monkey was sleeping. Then... Whoops! He landed right on top of Big Monkey. Big Monkey was very cross. You naughty little monkey, he shouted. Go up to your bed now. Little Monkey climbed up to his bed. He started to cry. Big Monkey went up to Little Monkey. You don't love me, sobbed Little Monkey. I do, Little Monkey, said Big Monkey. You know I do. You don't love me when I'm naughty, said Little Monkey. Well, yes, I do, said Big Monkey. I may not like the naughty things you do sometimes, but I love you always, even when you're naughty. Little Monkey still looked sad. I know. Let's play swing and chase, said Big Monkey. Little Monkey smiled. Swing and chase was his favourite game. There they are, swinging in the trees, big monkey chasing little monkey. They played and played until at last they came to a clearing around a large pool. They stopped and had a drink. That was fun, said little monkey. Yes, it was, said big monkey. Big monkey took little monkey's paw in his own. I'm sorry I did those naughty things, big monkey, said little monkey. Big monkey smiled. I'm sorry I shouted at you. He said, yes, said Little Monkey, it was naughty of you to shout at me. 
Big Monkey gave Little Monkey a great big hug. I love you, Little Monkey, he said. Climb onto my back, said Big Monkey, and I'll carry you home. Little Monkey climbed onto Big Monkey's back. He put his arms around Big Monkey's neck. I love you too, Big Monkey, he whispered. I love you, even when you're naughty. That's the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed that story today and I hope you're all looking after each other, staying safe and keeping well. Okay, bye!